Hi everyone, it's Milani and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is gonna be a little different. We're gonna do a little tips and tricks and advice and recommendations for you guys how to maintain clear skin or clearer skin while still wearing makeup. So first things first, drink a lot of water. Be cautious of what you're eating, what you're putting into your body is going to appear on your skin. So if you're doing a lot of sugary, sugary foods or greasy foods, it's going to, it's gonna just, you know, it's gonna come out on your face. It's not gonna be fun. It's not gonna be cute. No one's gonna be happy. You know, we, we don't want that. I've been there, I've done that. It's just, it's not fun. Next thing, next thing. Wash your face. I hear so many people just saying that they just fall asleep with their makeup on and then they're just good to go in the morning with whatever is left over on their face. Do not do that. Do not do that. If you have beautiful skin and you are young and you're not breaking out and you feel like just keeping that makeup on is going to save you time in the morning, don't do that. It's going to catch up. It's not good. It's not good for your skin. So please wash your face. Next thing, incorporate double cleansing into your skincare regimen. Oh, just kind of get rid of all of those makeup wipes don't rely on them for a day-to-day -day basis. I understand, like I still have makeup wipes and I love makeup wipes. They work really well, especially when I need to get leftover eye, eye makeup off. But for the most part, I don't put that all over my skin. It will just, it's just not good for your skin. Double cleansing will break up the makeup, it'll hydrate, it'll nourish your skin, and then just follow up with a really, really good cleanser and remove your makeup that way. I have used so many different double cleansing oils. My favorite one that's affordable is the Palmer's Rosehip Fragrance. That one works really, really well. I also know a lot of people use coconut oil, organic coconut oil. I don't recommend using coconut oil. I mean, everyone's skin is different. That broke me out terribly. So I don't recommend that, but you know your skin better than anyone else. That's just my opinion. I like the Palmer's. It's affordable. It works well. No complaints at all. Following up with washing and cleansing your face, wash your brushes, your tools, anything you're putting on your face. If you are not cleaning them frequently, it is, it's just growing bacteria and you're just putting that on your face. I'm just going to cause you to break out. It's going to cause those little bumps. Nobody wants that. The easiest way to keep your makeup, your skin looking good is to clean your tools. All of my, I guess you want to say my, my metal tools, eyelash curler, tweezers, the little lash applicators that I have, I sanitize, wash, clean all of those once a week. And as far as my beauty sponges, my makeup brushes, I wash those every time I use them. I'm not saying you need to do that you need to wash your brushes and your tools and your sponges every single time you use it. I'm just very paranoid. Just wash it frequently. At least do it once a week. It, it's just a really, really easy way. I just don't want to break out, so I'm very paranoid about that. I always make sure that my brushes get washed right after I remove all my makeup off my face. Another thing I recommend is doing at least one mask a week. I am I'm a firm believer. I, sh I feel very strongly about face masks. They have worked for me. They changed my skin. And I I always tell everyone, try to do at least a mask a week. Guy, girl, it doesn't matter. Do it, your skin will thank you. And you don't have to do the same mask every week. Do what your skin needs. So do a mask that's going to either give you the hydration you need. If you're breaking out, then use a clay mask or use something that's going to just take care and just treat your breakouts. There's so many masks out there. You, you don't want to buy masks. You can make masks and there's so many recipes online and just different ways. I have a couple on my channel also that I really, really love and I still use. All the masks actually on my channel I use very, very frequently, at least once a week. But also if you're not someone that likes to sit there and mix the mask and put it on, wait for it to dry, to wash it off, you can do a sheet mask. It is it's seriously so simple all you do open it put it on your face wait for it to you know wait for the time take it off throw it away you don't even need to rinse your face but there is that little bit of liquid that's on the bottom keep it keep it and put it on your face put it on your neck don't waste it it's it's good stuff so do at least one mask a week and your skin will thank you last thing i want to talk about is when you are breaking out do not 
overly exfoliate your skin. Do not find exfoliators that are too aggressive and abrasive. It's going to damage your skin. It's going to tear your skin. It's going to rip it. It's not fun. Do something very, very gentle and don't go too crazy with exfoliating. If you're using an exfoliator and it's a, and you feel like your skin can't handle it, mix it in with a creamier cleanser just so you're getting, a, so you're, there's some balance in there. But do not over exfoliate. I'm telling you, it's, it, it ruined my skin doing that because for some reason I thought if I had all these bumps, I need to use something to exfoliate it. It was gonna exfoliate and it was gonna go away. It didn't, it didn't, it made it worse and more things were happening, things I couldn't explain. So please take my advice and do not go very, very aggressive and very harsh with your skin. You know, just, it's your skin. Be gentle with it, take care of it, show it some love, you know, just, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video.